Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about what you can get for 250, 240,000 euros was that? Oh, 40,000 euros. And we're asked the question by Step Up M eight S and what can you get for 240 grand? So in this video, I'm going to show you. We're going to take a look around Spain. So I went onto my favorite website for looking for property in Spain, it's thinkspain.com, which is a fantastic website. Now, I put in the search to get a property in the region of 250,000 euros, uh, which is the easiest way to do this, and then I search Spain. So, I'm going to go through the regions, first of all, and see what you can get. The first one I want to look at is obviously close to us, Torreveca. Now, this is on one of the side streets, I believe, in Torre Vieja. For 199,000, so you can make them an offer. You can get a four bedroom, two bathroom apartment. Um, just one street, 100 meters away from the marina. Now this is one of the main streets. I think that is the main street actually, uh, where the shops run along it. 199 for that. I mean, it, it's in a good location. And it is a good size property in need of modernization. Um, yeah, 200 grand for something that needs a, a brand new kitchen and everything. I mean, the, the, yeah, it needs completely modernized. The floors look like marble. You may be able to restore them. Looks like it has had new double glazing put in at some point, and it does have the little bit terrace there that has been enclosed also. But yeah, it's 200 grand. This is the old shutters, that's the old windows, though they would need replaced. 200 grand for a main street, that needs a new bathroom as well. Yeah, you're going to have to spend about 30 to 40 grand to get it looking like brand new. Is it then going to be worth 250 to 300 grand in Torre Vieja? Well, I'm not too sure. And there's the, the view that you get down to the marina. It's not much of a view, but. It is a view, and there's the entrance to the apartment. It's a cracking size, but for me, it would be a no, personally. I'm not saying that it might be for you. Uh, so what else can you get for that kind of money? Next, we're going to head further down the coast. I will put all the links to these. There is no financial gain for us with these videos. So I'm looking down, just down from... In the region of Murcia, which is just the next region down from Torreveca, and it's not far from the port of Mazron. This one, it's a townhouse for sale for 169,000. Now, the reason that I picked this one out is it's 293 meters squared. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom apart, uh, two par two bathroom house at 169,000. It is a massive amount of property that you're getting for your money here. Now this one has a bit more of a modern kitchen straight away. You're thinking, well, that doesn't need replaced anytime soon. It looks as if that kitchen has been done in the last five to 10 years, maybe. Um, I'm not too sure, but the last five years, maybe. Uh, but it is a newer type kitchen. It looks as if there has been some work done to the property. A new fridge freezer and a built-in microwave, oven, and stove. So straight away, it's off to a, a decent start. It does have a little table for three, four, four people, um, tiny little table in the kitchen. It does look straight away as if it needs the windows changed. This is the old-style Venetian um, persiana blind that are in them, so it may need windows and doors. Yeah, it's the old metal door, so... Although these are perfectly good, it, is, it looks like single glazed and that will need replaced at some point if you want to modernise it. And it does look like it has a little outside section there. So there's another one of the kitchen. And there is, this is potentially a garage space going into the property um, without seeing the actual layout. But yeah, there's a little outside area showing you the, the hallway. Now, it is ceramic tiles on the floor in this property, and it's probably MDMF that's around the doorways. So just put that up as a cheap way to tart up the house. Has had more, it is a bit old-fashioned looking. 
needs a little bit spent on it just to make it more modern i would rip out all these old-fashioned spanish in fact you would sell these you wouldn't rip them out you would sell them um, because you, you'll get someone that will buy them i don't like the styles personally i don't like this 80s 70s 80s type thing in here but it is a it's a massive size room and you could put built-in wardrobes in this room also and there is the single glazed metal windows so you would have to factor in that you're going to have to put windows into this property property there's another one of the bedrooms good size and there is a bathroom and the bathroom and that and that's a quite a small little lounge area that's maybe a, another bedroom in the making and then another bedroom and then there is the underneath of the property which would be your garage area. No, it's not even a garage because you can't get into it. There's stairs going down to it. And then there seems to be a kitchen. And there's the garage area underneath the property. So, yeah, it is a massive amount of property that you're getting. There's a lot you could do with it. I mean, that's a huge garage space underneath the house. Um, if you're looking for something that's just not far from an airport, um, I think it's around about half an hour drive from an airport. I will put the links into these and there's a little bit roof terrace that the property does have. Now the next up is down towards Malaga. Uh, down towards Malaga, this is, we're looking at a Finca this time. It's 210,000. Still under your budget, but it is a massive property as well. As well. You're looking at a property build of 150 metres square on a bit of land by the looks of it of 1,111 meters square so that does have quite a lot of garden space that comes along with the property and i've got to say 150 square meters that's about the size that we're in and that's a good size property so 210,000 for this one it's a townhouse finca uh country house sorry finca down in turox turox malaga up in the hills it does have a cracking views and you can see the sea if you're looking for something like this, this is what else you can get for your, mon your money. Uh, Malaga Airport would be your closest airport. I think two rocks to Malaga is around about 45 minutes drive. It might be a bit more than that, but it gives you an idea of what you can get. 150 square metres of property is big enough for, for most people. It is a four bedroom, one bathroom property. And I've got to say, it is a nice little property the fact that i would have this all tidied up a bit i mean let's see you would think they would tidy up for them getting their house on the market but you could make it look a little bit brighter it's obviously shaded for the summer to try and make it as cool as possible and yeah you can see the this will go down to just give a little bit of shade during the summer. I would take these down, gargoyle things. There's no really any need for them in the modern days there. And you could also paint the property white, which would make it look even better. So for 210 grand, I think that's a, that's a good buy, this one. It is a good buy. And there is a snow in the mountains in the background. So yeah, you can get um, a little bit of cooler weather also. But that's a decent size property for the money so that one's down in two rocks uh, in the malaga region the next one up is in malaga city now i picked this one out because it's only 143,000 euros it is 120 square meters it's a two bedroom two apartment i don't know what you're looking for but it does have sea views it does have a terrace and it's got cracking sea views let's just hope nothing gets built in front of it anytime soon but it is on an urbanisation type thing, so this is a little bit different. It does have a, a, a pool, and this property is empty. The reason it's only 143 grand is you would need to put a kitchen in this area. This is the kitchen area. It looks as if it's been stripped out, this property. Uh, you would need to completely furnish it, but it is a blank canvas, and it is double glazed, and it's new modern windows. So you wouldn't have to go to the cost of putting in double glazing that's for sure I'm just trying to find one there. the bathroom's there so that's a good thing it just looks as if it needs a kitchen so the bathroom is there so it just looks like you could put a kitchen in and then you're good to go you put a kitchen in if, of your own taste and it's got a little side bit looking over there as well that's nice I quite like that one if that's the type of thing that you're looking for the next one that I've picked out is 
in Marbella. Yes, Marbella. But it's still well within your budget. And this is a cracking looking property as well. And if you want to move into a property that needs absolutely nothing done to it, this apartment for sale in Marbella, Malaga, is for 219,000. It's 184 square metres. That's a decent sized property. That's big for a two bedroom. Now, it's probably including the outside space in that. But look at the size of the terrace you've got on this property. It's absolutely beautiful. And these views. Are just amazing. So let's have a look at the pool area. It is on an urbanisation type complex again, but you got to say it's a, a fantastic looking one. And those those views over the sea and, and the views over the pool area. I'll tell you one thing: you better not show car on this because you may want to move down that way. Because when you're working from home, that's the kind of views that you want right outside your doorstep. And having that pool, being able to dive into that pool straight after work would be fantastic. Fantastic. Now, this is the inside of the property. It is an open plan kitchen. And obviously, it's on the ground level because you can see the fake grass outside. So, it does have the open plan living room kitchen. I would I would get rid of that table and just have it outside, to be honest. Uh, there's one of the shower rooms, big walk-in shower room with the sink, which is fantastic also. And there's another one of the outside terrace. Look at that. You could just imagine yourself sitting at night. I mean, I could just sitting there with a little pina colada, <laughs> a little cocktail, just enjoying that cracking view, watching the sunset over the mountains, just up to the the left hand, the right hand side of you. And there is the complex. There's a it's on a golf course, so if you do like golf as well, you've got a golf course right on your complex. So, but. I will say that the downside of that, it will be absolutely mayhem in the summer. So if it is something that you're looking for long term, take that into consideration. We do know that the properties in these golf urbanizations can be a little bit cheaper, but you do get good value for money. And if you do like golf, and if you don't mind late nights and late noise, um, although there is noise restrictions and everything on these type of urbanizations, but... Um, yeah, there's another option for you, and that pool just looks amazing. It does look a really nice complex, this one. And you may have a view of the golf course if the property is on the right side also, which is child-friendly. Anyway, that one's down in Malaga, in Marbella, sorry, uh, 219,000 for 184 square metres. Now, the next one I want to show you is back in Torreveca. Oh, it's not, well, it's, it is Torreveca, but it's Punta Prima, which is just on the outskirts of Torreveca, heading down towards Lasagna and Playa Flamenca. Um, the roundabout down there is, is mayhem. That's the only downside of this area, is when you try to come out of Punta Prima at the roundabout during the summer, it's come complete madness it's complete and not even during the summer right up until the end of november it's been complete mayhem that roundabout and it will, will only get worse i'm not trying to put you off this area but that, that area was is there, there a way to build even more properties down the front and it will just make it even busier i think but for 239,000, this property is smaller it's about half the size of some of the properties that we have looked at in print of, and throughout Spain. So it just shows you if you're looking for value for money, the more property, I mean, you, you almost had almost double the size of that in the last two properties that we did look at. So this one's 92 square meters and it is only a two bedroom and two bathroom. I don't know, it's obviously got a main bathroom and an ensuite. So you see the living room there, a nice cozy living room, nice lounge, air conditioned unit, sofa. Uh, with an open plan area here that goes into the kitchen. You could see that, a nice little um, bar stools. I uh, don't know what you would need them for because you're not going to pretend that you're in a bar in your own kitchen. But if you've got friends around, they can maybe sit and watch you cook in your cosy little kitchen. And you can see that it's got a microwave up above the cooker area. And uh, there's not a lot of cooking goes on in this property. Tiny little cooker there and then if you do like to entertain it's probably not the ideal it is more a holiday home size this apartment but for 239 grand is it value for money is it the type of thing that you're looking for it does have a little bit outside space um there we go that that has been enclosed and um made into a dining room is that a room that you're going to use a lot, really? 
Um, that's the question that I would ask. And then there's the cosy bedroom. Um, he's obviously trying to get as good pictures of that bedroom as he can. That's the first bedroom. It's a double bedroom with a small built-in wardrobe uh, in the hallway. And there's the second bedroom, which is just as cosy and uh, with a set of drawers there. It doesn't look like it's got a set of drawers down the side of the bed either. So it does say that that is a cosy little room. Hmm, I'll just leave that one and we'll move on to the last property that I want to show you. It's not the last property, so the website that I do use is Think Spain. Now you're going to it on your laptop, don't use it on your phone because it's, it's a terrible website on your phone. But uh, just to show you where the properties were that we looked at, obviously in Torrevieja, uh, here you can zoom in and you can get as many properties as you want. The next one was down in the Murcia region which was down in this area here. No, it wasn't. That's Mazron. So it was just further down from Mazron. And it was down here. And then the other properties were further down the coast in Spain, down to Almeria, and down that way, and Malaga, and Marbella. So I hope you found that good. I will tag you in this video. Uh, step up. Uh, step up. For, uh, dash M8. Hope you found that interesting. If you want us to do more of this type of things, uh, give me a shout and we may just, just be able to do it. Anyway, have a fantastic day. Hasta luego.